At night, the camera will still detect and record you, but it is recommended to have some ambient lighting turned on to give you a better image. Hey everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now we have done many camera videos over the last few years, but this one, it's a little different. It sticks to the inside of your window with suction cups to monitor all of the activity outside without giving you any glare that you would normally get. And we will install it and test it out. Now, if you enjoy being entertained while learning about cool tech, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon to get notified when we release a new video. Also, please use our Amazon links if you shop on Amazon. These links are in every one of our videos and they really help us out. Finally, if you want to see our videos weeks before everyone else, then see our Patreon link down below for all the juicy details. Now, Panasonic reached out to us and sent us this window camera to do a review on. Now it has some great features like being able to protect from the elements as it is mounted from indoors, which also keeps it safe from theft. A powerful suction cup adheres to the camera to virtually any interior window. It simply plugs into a regular outlet, so no worrying about battery life, and it has color night vision, which actually will demonstrate shortly, and it has person detection technology to avoid unnecessary motion alerts. There are no monthly fees on video as it is stored on a local SDXE card, and it saves two seconds pre-recording after any alert. The camera is 1080p, featuring a 150 degree wide angle view and is Alexa and Google Assistant compatible. Hello friends, as you can see, I have taken off the back and I'm gonna show you just what we're looking at in the back door here. So we have the SD card and that's where of course you're gonna have your storage. Now as well, when you go here, you have your setup and your reset buttons. You're also going to have your power right here and once you have determined where exactly on the window you wanna place it, you flip this switch and that will lock it in place. If for some reason you want to remove it from that position, you're gonna pull it down to unlock it and then pull this. And that will ensure that you can now move it from where it once was. All right, so now we're gonna install the camera to the window, but first you might be wondering why I have this rag. Now this is to ensure that your window is fully clean and I'm using a lint-free cloth to wipe it down. Now I just wanna mention that before you install it, I'm going to mention that the SD card does again go right in here. So just as a reminder, right over there. Now. I could put this anywhere, but I'm going to choose to actually place it inconspicuously down here. And once you've determined the exact spot that you want it, all you do is you flip the switch and you're good to go. Now, if for some reason you're not happy with it there, what you can do is you can actually flip down the switch that will unlock it. And then you pull that and you're good to go. But I'm going to put it back where it was because I like it there. <laughs> So here's the camera that we installed and as you can see it's right in the window so that's right it's not a window pane at all <laughs> and as you can see this is the view from outside looking in or from inside looking out depending on whose perspective you're looking at all right guys so i just want to let you know that it does also have the option to be plugged in and so here we have it plugged in we've got our outlet over there and it feeds right into the bottom that's right, we have a bottom feeder, as it were. It comes with two matching clips, and in my excitement to plug it in, I can't seem to find them, but that's okay. I know they're around here somewhere. Maybe Alexa can help. <laughs> All right, and so I also have here, this is the back of it, so that way we can hide it. It also, on the back, it has uh, these adhesive clips that actually allows for a more permanent solution if you wanna make sure that it is mounted for good. So now that I've put that on, we are good to go and I'm gonna close it in and voila, Bob's your uncle. So you need to download the HomeHawk app and setting it up has never been so easy. You select the add new camera and then follow the prompt. Once it is installed, you click on the icon to see live view. You can take a snapshot or record your live view. Below you can see your recorded list. You can filter it by person, motion, manual, or protected. I'm going to select this clip of a person detection 
to see who is trespassing. I will click on the gear icon for the settings. I will go over the more commonly used settings. By clicking on video, I will leave the resolution to the default of 1080p and keep HDR turned on. I can adjust the brightness if I need to. Clicking on recording settings, you can see we have a 128 gig SD card installed with about 4% capacity used. We have our notification settings turned on and under detection, we can set the detection area. You can see we have it blocking out the street and sidewalk. And I must say, we don't receive any false alerts. You can make it even more accurate by increasing the number of boxes to select. Our sensitivity is set to normal, which is just fine for us. An important feature is protection. Click on this from the home screen. You can select 24 seven continuous recording. And with my SD card, it will last 5.7 days before overwriting. I have it set to protection, which you can modify. The duration I set is 45 seconds, and I have it set to person only. If set to all motion, you're going to get a ton of notifications. Also, just to note, it records two seconds before anything is detected. Now here is some footage during the daytime of people walking up to the front of the house. Because we have it set to person only, we don't get any false alerts of animals or anything blowing in the wind. Just note, because it is meant to be installed behind the window, there is no microphone, so you can't hear anything that is happening. At night, the camera will still detect and record you, but it is recommended to have some ambient lighting turned on to give you a better image. Now the reason I like this camera is because it gives you a clear glare free day or night and it, the camera is close to the window. Person detection works really well so you don't get the alerts from anything else that passes by. What do you think of this concept of the camera? Do you think it's something that you would actually use? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do share it with someone or someones. And you can always see our latest and greatest videos right here to the side. Subscribe to see our more videos and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You can always check out our website at homeautomationx.com. Thank you so much for watching.